This week on Rugged Expeditions, we're going to the swamps of Paraguay after free-range Asiatic water buffalo. A typical afternoon for a water buffalo is going to revolve around lounging in head-high swamp. The insanely difficult terrain where the water buffalo live is what makes them such a huge challenge. Brought to you by Safari Club International, first for hunters. Getting out to Farra Moro Ranch is an adventure in itself. You fly into Ascension, and then Rocky picks you up in his plane. Hi, Alan. Hi, right, Ed. Hey, good good to see you again. Nice to see you. Welcome to Paraguay. Can't wait. Flies you a couple hours north into the dry Chaco jungle. Luckily, there's a nice dirt strip right by his house where we all stay while we're up here hunting. Gorgeous area, vast land tracks up here. Most of the ranches up here are hundreds of thousands of acres. Years ago, all this land used to just be tens of thousands of square miles of nothing but thorny Chaco brush. Nowadays, though, a lot of it's been cleared and turned into cattle ranching land. The good news is there's a lot more enterprise going on in the area, and a lot of the animals have actually come back and are doing well. But as a rule of thumb, they've been pretty good stewards of the land. One individual who has made animal management a priority for himself is Rocky McBride. There are many diverse species in the jungles of Paraguay, from the small rodents roaming the ground to the dangerous predators in the trees. Rocky has made it his mission to help both and protect these animals through his conservation efforts. This also includes the water buffalo. Water buffalo have been free range in Paraguay for decades now. They were originally introduced into the swamps as an animal that could live in that tough, tough environment, still survive. Unlike in other places where they were originally brought in as beasts of burden, the water buffalo were mainly brought in as a meat source in areas where cattle couldn't thrive. Today, the only place in South America where you can hunt free range water buffalo is in Paraguay. To many, the water buffalo may not seem threatening at first glance, but any seasoned hunter will tell you a wounded buffalo is unquestionably dangerous. No matter what species of buffalo, whether it's the Asiatic buffalo found in Southern Asia and Australia, a buffalo is able to absorb many well-placed shots. In most cases, and as a safety measure, a second gunman can help dispose of any possible threat. In spite of the backup, the Cape Buffalo found in Africa is relentless. The water buffalo of South America are a much bigger bodied animal than even the Cape Buffalo of Africa. But these buffalo here, if you corner them, or God forbid you're hunting them and they're wounded, you've got trouble on your hands. The insanely difficult terrain where the water buffalo live is what makes them such a huge challenge. Tracking them, you'll go across dry land, following, following, then you get to the water. You had no choice. You're going in if you want to go buffalo hunting. Hunt. 
So what do you get? These buffalo are gonna go in here when it's hot and then go into that They'll thick stuff to... They'll come in the water too. and during, you know, and even during the heat of the day, lay and roll in the mud, and then they'll get up in this, the thickest. Well, they like it in this, uh, as far as getting in this muck and that, though. No, no, they're built for it. They, and they got waters all out in this grass. They just lay there and water till the sun, when the sun really gets hot like this, they'll get up and get the shade. So calling them a water buffalo is just not a catchy term? No, they, no they, that's what, this is ideal. They actually like the water. They actually like the water. Huh. So at some point, like we got to go in this stuff, or we just walk around the high spots, or what are you thinking? We'll try to stay dry as long as we can, but mm -hmm. you know, if we get, if they get to moving on us or something, we'll have to walk through the, some water. But it's not deep right now. This isn't like anacondas don't like this kind of stuff or anything, do they? No, not too bad. <laughs> yeah. Famous last words. Yeah. This looks real snaky, if you ask Al Smith. Typical afternoon for a water buffalo is gonna revolve around lounging in head-high swamp. They don't call these things water buffalo for nothing. We could hear him wading through the water, so I tried to cut him off by closing the distance to where he might come out of the thorny brush. In Africa, they call them Dugga boys. Here we call them Hombre Viejo, or old man. After tracking the bull for hours, we finally got him out in the open. What's deceptive from the angle of the camera is that the buffalo is actually in grass that's up to the top of his back and I could just barely make out his head. The only opening in that whole swamp was when he cut through that tall grass and dove down through that kind of canal that was running through there, but one of those moments when it's just not your turn. Dang it. I could just see his back. I couldn't see any of the vitals. I could see his horn a little bit in the top of his head, but this grass is so high, there's no way I could get a shot at him. Ugh. I thought that was it there. Man, on we go. Well, are these things pretty territorial where they'll stay in the same kind of an area? Mm -hmm. Well, let's go see if we can head him off, huh? <laughs> Go a little deeper into the swamp. It looks like this bull's probably split off. But if he does, I bet he goes up into this thicket. Will he lay up during the day? Yeah. I mean, he gets someplace, you know, he knows, I bet they know we were after him now. He's going to go someplace thick. I, I bet I know where he's going, over here in the thicket. Let's go. We already had to follow him through the swamp, so at least he's on dry ground now. This young bull keeps messing with us. He won't... He won't, uh... run off like the others. The herd's gone back in here, but we can't get any further until he moves off. Yeah, come on. fails we get a herd like this and this bull that we've been after he's gone in behind this herd now we got to try and get through these guys to get to where we can get after that bull again
They're mad now. We'll let them move off and get into the in there so we can sneak around and get after that bull that we've been after. I don't trust these cows with these calves. That's asking for trouble. That's not our bull. It's a There's a cow over there, and this bull here, he's not our bull. That's a different one. Younger. It's odd to find them out in the opening like this, especially at this time of day. They've come out on this hard ground and there's a wallow out here. There's a couple behind her. We're gonna run out of sunlight at some point here, but I'm kinda in a quandary. I'm not sure what we should do here. I'm afraid if we get in this thick stuff with this cow, this one here is really mad. And there's another one over there that's wolfing at us. It sounded like that big one when he crashed across that creek that he kept going and he went past these guys because I could have sworn I heard him back here, further back. But when we came around to where we thought he was, here was this big herd in here and he's definitely not hanging with the, all these. But now we gotta get around him somehow. Sometimes it's just better to walk away and come back the next day than to go in and do something stupid or have to kill a cow because she charges us and she's not going to leave here. <sighs> they don't look very afraid of us. <laughs> I think she's got <laughs> bigger plans for Al Smith than letting him get too close. Originally, you used to be able to hunt water buffalo in the swamps of Brazil and the Mato Grosso and some other areas out in the outlying areas of Brazil. But after that shut down, the only place you can go after truly free-range water buffalo anywhere in South America is in Paraguay. As the heat of the day reaches its height in Paraguay, the water buffalo migrate for shade in the canopy of the jungle. Following closely behind the buffalo's trail is J. Allen Smith and his guide, Rocky McBride. The two have been tracking one particularly old bull who has left the herd and is now roaming around on his own. There he goes, he's gone now. We gotta just go. Now the chase is on. He's gonna have it. I wonder if I could just go straight like this. I'll cut around.
close was that? <laughs> oh to get in that close on a buff like that. He was right here. We've been following him through the swamp and following him through the swamp. Finally, he came out on this dry ground right here in this thick stuff. Whew. You talk about getting your heart going. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about right there. He's heading back into this thicket. Oh, there's blood there, huh? Oh, yeah. oh he's no, bleeding he's good now. Yeah, here he goes. Gone all the way in now. He's bleeding good at least. Yeah, he is. Rocky, did you see where the shot hit? Yeah, it's got him just a little bit forward, but it's, it looks good. But it's in the right spot? Yeah, there's plenty of blood. Down. It was so dark in there that it was hard to see, and when he was facing on us, I, I, there was sticks and stuff, and I didn't want to stick him like him too tight. When he turned sideways, I would turn. That was the best setup we've had all day. Huh? Let's see where he went. You see his tracks here? Watch out for these hornets. Oh, great. It's not bad enough in the jungle, and then you got these hornet nests to deal with. Let's go this way. Oh, there he is. He's there. <laughs> Rocky. What the deal? What a place to cut the opening. Where'd go, man? Nice of him to run out of the swamp and the brush and come out here into the opening for us. Yeah. You know what's really fun about buffalo wherever you go is that they're always a challenge. They're so big. You gotta shoot them just right. But when you get to chase them through the swamp and the grasslands and then get in this thick stuff, it's like you're in Africa, only you're not. You're in beautiful Paraguay. And this jungle here is so much different than what we're used to. It's real thorny. And then you go from being in swamp to having cactus right behind you. You think you're in the Sonoran Desert or something in some of these places, but it's just a variety of terrain and these things have adapted to it just great. What a great animal. Buffalo hunting in the swamps of Paraguay. <laughs>